Kyrgyzstan is a land of mountains and epic landscapes, and so much horseshit you could ever imagine. But seriously, there are animals everywhere in this country. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan! <laughs> We started our journey in the capital city of Bishkek. The weather was not on our side at first. It was grey and gloomy. The first impression was a bit Soviet. Here in Bishkek, the capital city of Kyrgyzstan. Just arrived this morning and we are extremely tired. But let's go have the first meal. I'm sure that's gonna cheer us up. We did hit the language barrier a bit right away. So the whole menu is in Kyrgyz and Russian, so we have to use Google Translate to understand. Inside, very flavorful, quite fatty. I like it. I like it. It's um, chili, chili sauce with garlic. So that was our first meal in Kyrgyzstan, and it was absolutely delicious. We didn't know what to expect really with the food, but uh, definitely it was really tasty, tasty and unique. A lot of flavor. Kyrgyzstan is the nature and the next day we took a taxi to Chunkurchak just 40 kilometers away from Bishkek. The road conditions were rough. We stayed in the middle of the nature in over 2500 meters altitude in a luxury yurt. Probably the most unique accommodation I've ever stayed. It was still rainy, but it didn't even matter as our yurt was so cozy.
Good morning from Kyrgyzstan. It's early morning here. I woke up before 5 a.m. and it was definitely totally worth it. Oh, what a sunrise. It was so beautiful. And well, it's still, still really beautiful here. After amazing time in Chungurchak, it was time to head back to Bishkek. This was our first time to try samsa, usually a meat and onion filled pastry baked in a tandoor oven. Super crispy from the outside and gooey from the inside. A great snack and definitely one of my favorite things to eat in Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyz food is really meat heavy, but it's possible to have some seafood as well, especially trout is widely available. This time our seafood cravings were satisfied with a golden trout. It was absolutely fresh and delicious. up buying also some nuts and spices. Oz Bazaar really is a huge bustling marketplace where you could spend the whole day just walking and looking around. Plenty of interesting stuff to see here. Now it's time to enjoy one last time and have one final meal of amazing Central Asian food here in Bishkek. We are very hungry and we're gonna eat all of our favorites, lakman, plop, maybe some lamb shashlik, and what else do we need? Borso. That's my favorite. just got her favorite borsok on the table finally i have borsok again uh, and i'm just in love so much with the fried dough it's not greasy or oily at all it's just like so flavorful mm. She's just taking some salad with carrots and eggplants and so on. And then we have samsa here, the Kyrgyz version of samosa. And then lakman fried noodles, which is definitely one of our favorite dishes here. And then we have the pilaf or plop, as they call it here in Kyrgyzstan. And in this place we have definitely the best plop during these 
10 days we have stayed here in Central Asia. This plop is so flavorful. It has really like a deep layers of rich flavors. And then we have the lamb sashlik here, which is always awesome. We had plop for the first time from this restaurant. And during our stay in, in Kyrgyzstan and actually in Kazakhstan, we tried plop also. And nothing can beat the plop in this place. It's just so flavorful. And I am just loving the boso lakman, which is the fried lakman. There's also the soupier version, but we usually eat this boso lakman, fried lakman. And it's so flavorful, really. A lot of chili flavor. And I don't know how they make it exactly, but the flavor is like very rich and tasty. We like it a lot. Some people might have been surprised of our choice to visit Kyrgyzstan. They might have wondered why would anyone go there. But I wouldn't change this unique experience to anything. We had a great time and we learned a lot. Now we know Kyrgyzstan is one of the most beautiful countries in the world.